February the 15th, 2023. Guys, I took down that last video because I made a mistake that's very critical on this type of information, and I apologize to each and every one of you. Um, as many as I made, I know I made mistakes on the other ones, but uh, I, again, this one is so important that I had to take it down because of I made a mistake on the map. When I was doing the article, I put in uh, on my map Palestine, or Palestine, excuse me, the Yankee pronunciation there, Palestine, Ohio, instead of East Palestine. So I had to come in and change the map because it shifted everything over to the east. Both are still in Ohio, but this one is on the very border with Pennsylvania. Again, guys, all I can do is apologize from the bottom of my heart and correct it, okay? So now this 200-mile map radius extends from just uh, northwest of Pennsylvania. This is East Palestine, or Palestine, excuse me, where the red dot is. So I extended it out 200 miles in all directions. What that does is put Lake Erie completely, not just the tip, uh, uh, down by Toledo, but the entire lake. So how, all the water that's going to come out of Lake Erie, and you notice where Detroit is up there, all of that is going to be polluted. DeWine urged the people to drink the bottle, bottle of water and be vigilant. I put this in the last video, but because not a lot of people had seen it yet, and thank you guys in the comments for correcting me on this, because... It was a terrible mistake to make with this many lives at stake and this many uh, people in harm's way. <clears throat> so I thank you for that. But it says uh, the uh, Ohio EPA chief, chief confirmed toxic plume moving down the Ohio River towards Huntington, West Virginia. It said they're monitoring it. fish, other aquatic animals dying along with the barnyard animals like chickens, etc., dogs and cats, guys says that children are reported to be experiencing projectile vomiting. And uh, there's folks that are saying they are moving with their kids out of that area. Because they don't want them to die. It's pretty simple, right? The uh, vinyl chlorine, which burned when they ignited the trains. You see in the top left the mushroom cloud that was created. But when they, they ignited the trains and let them burn, uh, so that they could clear the tracks, not because they, the lie they told at first, they said it, one of the tanks were overheating, so it may explode. So they just blew the whole thing up, car after car after car caught on fire. You can see that mushroom cloud. And again, you guys that saw the video that I had to take down, this is somewhat repetitive. But this black mushroom cloud that you see that's hit the bottom layer of the cloud cover that was over East Palestine, Ohio went much higher than that. Airplane video showing it went uh, probably miles higher and it continued to expand out in all directions. And they're saying now this 200 mile radius map that I've got here, uh, guys, uh, is the area of contamination from the fallout. Now, the vinyl chloride becomes hydrochloric acid when mixed with water. When burned, it uh, comes, uh, produces phosgene gas, the deadliest poison used in World War I. DeWine, uh, DeWine has not declared a state of, of environmental emergency or statewide environmental emergency, has not called Biden to declare an emergency sent in from FEMA. Again, repetitive from the first video, but uh, it's all to hide it from the media. Maybe that's one of the weather balloons that are up around floating around and guys they what's so ironic about the weather balloon they shot down off carolina that you saw us track come out of uh oklahoma they said oh no it has uh, american made parts in it remember that after they started pulling it out all of that was a diversion it was american made parts because we made it we launched it and we shot it down but it was to uh, take away from what's happening in europe and nato and what's happening here. And they're saying Poop Buttigieg is, uh, he left his husband long enough to do a tour around the U.S. and talk about, uh, not this, he never mentioned it. He's in charge of the Department of Transportation. These demons uh, put in these puppets 
that they control. They tell him, just stay with your boyfriend, have a baby, whatever you're going to do. But what he did in his tour was talk about there's too many white men on construction jobs. Isn't that amazing? But uh, they're saying this could be America's Chernobyl, but those in charge appear ambivalent to the death and destruction it is and will cause. Again, look at how far it extends into Pennsylvania when I change the map. Close to Washington, D.C. Maybe the whole thing will just push right through there and go through the halls of Congress. Who knows? Columbus, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. Detroit. Hamilton. This is up getting into Canada. You've got uh, going down Charlottesville, West Virginia. But remember, the uh, report is still um, active because it says the EPA chief, chief confirmed toxic plume moving down the Ohio River towards Huntington, West Virginia. They're saying they're monitoring it. So just check out this area, guys. Again, Lake Erie. And <clears throat> when I mentioned that it was going to get into the tributaries of the Mississippi River, that's still occurring. Everything on the east side of the Appalachian, I mean, excuse me, of the Continental Divide basically goes, ends up in the Mississippi Basin, except what goes into the uh, Atlantic Ocean. But you can see from Cincinnati and going down through Lexington and Louisville, the river chains all tie into the Mississippi River still going into the Gulf. That's in the information. But guys, I apologize. It's been a pretty rough couple of days here. I don't want to go into details about it. Uh, me and Tina were fine. Uh, just some outside things that are happening. And my mind's a little bit distracted. And again, I apologize for m making that mistake. But uh, I'm getting old and maybe I can get away with a couple. But I did correct it. So here's your new map. Click into East Palestine, spell Palestine. Ohio, and then use their um, m measure distance tool, and you can go out 200 miles, circle that, and you'll see if you're in that area. But don't forget all the rivers that run from here out through Washington, D.C., the Delaware, through Baltimore, through Philadelphia, through Virginia. All of this has the contamination in it that's killing the fish, killing the uh, all aquatic wildlife, dogs, cats farm animals, all of the above. Kids are getting sick, people are moving. Think about it very heavily. We are in the end times, and what did it say? We would see. We would see these type of events. Guys, we're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.